let's talk again about presentations, right? I, I spoke about this in the past, about you know how to come prepared, especially if you're speaking somewhere where you've never been before. Come earlier, look at the system, talk to the tech guy if there is one. If you don't have the skill set yourself, dress appropriately, don't turn your back to your audience and so forth, right? But I have gone through a number of presentations recently and two things that really, three things actually, three things that really stand out for me as the most important. One are your slides, in no particular order, but one are your slides. Make them visual, right? Don't put a lot of text on it and don't, number two, don't read them. For the love of God, please, when you present, don't read your slides. Because if you're there and you're reading your slides verbatim, that audience doesn't need you anymore. You could have just emailed the slides and that was it, right? That would have been it. They can read on their own, right? Presumably. You are supposed to be there to provide value, to engage in conversation, to provide something that is not available in those slides. So use more images, more video, more things that are visual while you speak to them. So the next time when they see that slide, they'll remember the conversation that they have with you. So more visual slides, less text, number one. Number two, don't read them, right? Provide things that are not on the slides. That is the value of a speaker. That is why you're there. And number three, engage in conversation. Some like to hold off until the end, and I know there's, you know, some organizations where you speak or present have their own rules. And in some cases, it makes sense. I personally prefer to engage folks as the questions come up. I can be on a slide two of 12, and somebody has a question or disagrees with the statement I made, please raise your hand and let's, let's talk about it, right? It's not a competition. It's exchange of ideas and thoughts. So, once again, number one, make your slides visual. Number two, do not read them, right? You have to provide, the, the whole point while you're there as a speaker is to provide something that goes beyond the slides. If you're just reading them, you can email them to people and done. Save everybody a ton of time and effort. And number three, engage people. The whole value, the biggest value of speeches and presentations that I've ever gained is from either during the presentation or afterwards or during cocktail hour, right? Whatever it may be, is, is that conversations, that exchange of thoughts and ideas and experiences, not just reading or, re or presenting your side of the story and then saying, thank you, have a nice day, right? Allow people to respond and get them to engage with you and share their own experiences and thoughts because you can learn as well. Even if you happen to be the keynote speaker, you can still learn on that area um, as well. So I have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. I just wanted to share that because recently I've um, attended a number of presentations and speeches where these fundamental rules of good presentations kept getting broken over and over again. Have a wonderful day.